Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mind Your Exam. In this video, we will be learning about different types of analytics that occur under the field of data analytics. So the first type of analytics is descriptive analytics. So descriptive comes from the word describe and this kind of analytics basically focuses on analyzing or studying historical data to understand different patterns, trends and relationships among that data. So once we have understood the data using different statistical techniques, we can summarize that data and see what events have occurred in the past or how our business is doing, what trends are being uh, followed in the organization related to employee performance, sales, revenue and so on. So it helps us to uncover the trends in the past events by understanding that data or describing that data. And the main question that descriptive analytics focuses on is what has happened in the past. Only when you understand your past scenarios, then you can take steps in the future and make changes in the present to achieve your goals further. So given some real world examples of descriptive analytics, descriptive analytics helps us to uncover or understand what has been the revenue in the past quarter, how the sales of product has increased or decreased over the time period that the company decides to analyze. Then in the hospital industry, the analysis of patient data is performed so as to understand and summarize what has been the uh, situation the state of the patient's health in the past. Also, the companies and organization can analyze the data to find out how many new clients and customers they have gained over the years. Plus, the sales department, the marketing department can study how their new marketing strategies have been successful or whether they have given better results or not when they were applied in the past. The customer feedback or the user feedback is also analyzed and understood in term in the case of descriptive analytics so as to understand the reactions, the behavior of the customer towards the product or the service being provided to them by the organization. Also, the employee performance is analyzed so as to understand whether the employee is performing up to the mark, if he needs to give in more instructions to perform better or he needs to appraise for his good performance. All this is understood using descriptive analytics. Similarly, student attendance, student pattern is also understood using descriptive analytics. The second kind of analytics is predictive analytics. Now, once we have understood the past, the events of the past, we now aim to predict the future that if such situations continue to happen as they are happening right now, how will be the future? What will be the outcome? and trends in the future and for this purpose statistical techniques as well as ML models yani machine learning models are utilized for making predictions. Now in this scenario also we are using both the past and present data that means we are understanding through descriptive analytics what has happened. Now we are making predictions for the future that if such scenario continues from the past what will happen in the near future and this helps us to identify the future risks as well as the opportunities. So this predictive analytics mainly focuses on what might happen in the future based on the insights that we have discovered from the past data or descriptive analytics. Okay. Now, applications of predictive analytics mainly include the predicting the performance of sports people based on their, uh, their state of health, their fitness and their performance in the past. Similarly, predicting the number of COVID cases has been a major area of predictive analytics where it has been applied. 
further identifying what kind of credit card frauds can be done in the future which customers are uh, tending to default this is one area where predictive analytics is used by the banking industry similarly the cab services like uber ola they are analyzing the data and predicting in which season say in the wedding season they are expecting more number of bookings so they might take uh, steps accordingly in the future the traffic light the signals and the roadways that are built are also built predicting how much amount of cars or what kind of traffic will be seen on that particular intersection and based on that we decide in further that what uh, how should be how much should be the waiting time for that particular signal and what number of lanes should be uh, provided in a particular area on the roads the next is the forecasting or prediction of weather in the upcoming weeks or months another area of predictive analytics is predicting or forecasting the demand for energy or electricity say in the summer months of a country and another example is identifying cyber frauds based on certain activities that have been identified by analyzing the past data now comes the third kind of analytics which is the prescriptive analytics now as you must have heard the word prescription that is given by doctors prescribing means suggesting something or advising something based on the current scenario that we have understood using descriptive analytics now understanding what will happen in future now we want to achieve certain goals if the predictions are in in our favor then we want to go ahead and continue with the steps that we have taken in the past but if the prediction the forecast is not in our favor then we need to identify the best strategy that will benefit us moving forward so prescriptive analytics also utilizes machine learning to make recommendations or suggestions for the future so that the predictions if we want them to come true what steps should be taken to achieve them or if we want to change the predictions that we are now currently with uh, forecasting then what strategy should be followed in that case so prescriptive analytics basically helps businesses to make data based decision making that means what should be done in future is decided by analyzing the data so these are not not just decisions these decisions are backed by strong analytics that we have just discussed in our slides and prescriptive analytics mainly focuses on what should be done next in near future applications or examples of prescription or prescriptive analytics include prescribing or suggesting to increase the level of inventory or warehouse in a particular uh, organization so that more number of products can be stored when the demand rises similarly changing the logistics or transportation uh, vehicles that you are uh, using for uh, meeting your demands of the supply chain for transporting goods to your customer is also one prescription that might be given to a particular org uh, company uh, management so as to improve their sales and timely delivery next can be in, uh, prescribing to the organization maybe the prescription given by the hr department to increase the number of working hours for employees to achieve certain deadlines that the company wants to meet in future then we have the prescriptions that are given to us by doctors or the uh, suggestions of taking covid vaccines by the medical fraternity is also a result of analyzing the current data predicting that if uh, uh, vaccines are not taken the covid cases may rise and people may get more affected so the vaccines were prescribed similarly suggesting which shares and stocks would be the best for portfolio financial portfolios of an organization or a person is a result of prescriptive analytics giving offers giving uh, discounts along with certain credit cards lounge access airline discounts on tickets is also a way of captivating your audience and improving uh, their uh, usage of credit cards in future 
similarly uh, one can prescribe that more number of metro rails should be run to meet the demands in the festival season this is the use of prescriptive analytics in the uh, transportation industry and another uh, application is dynamic pricing or giving away of uh, uh, discounts and sales on the product so as to clean out the inventory from the past season and to attract customer behavior customer buying so this was all about different types of analytics we have studied the three analytics predictive analytics which was preceded by uh, descriptive analytics and followed by prescriptive analytics that's all for today's video thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam